Greetings YouTube, and welcome back to Comic Fictions videos. Today we are discussing a vigilante of the Marvel Universe who defeats the scum and I guess purifies the streets, I guess. Don't really I don't feel like poetic today, but I'm going to discuss the Punisher. This is the Max series, number one. My cousin gave it to my dad because he was a Punisher fan, but my dad ended up giving me because he's not really collecting comics nowadays anymore since ever since he was a kid he stopped. But he, he's trying to get back into it only by only collecting what he has as a kid and what covers he liked. But this is number one, The Tiger. It's a really nice story. Artwork was nice. Uh, the War Zone that has the flip open cover. I got number one of that. I'll eventually grab another one just because I, I like to. Number 17 of the War Zone. Uh, 19 with guest starring Wolverine. Punisher and Wolverine do a lot of team ups, and I like that. And that's probably one of my favorite team ups in the Marvel Universe. Uh, War Zone 21. I like the Punisher art. It's rugged, it's crude, just like the Punisher himself, and that's how the art should be. Alright, 26. 27. I have a lot of gaps to fill up. I hope to do that down the road after I get in the Air Force. Uh, 29, the War Zone. Uh, number 30, I like this cover. It's a nice one. The way they detailed the, expo the gun going off and the muzzle fire. Number 31, Bloodbath. No, uh, River of Blood, my bad. Part 1 of 6. I think that's the only one I have right now. No, wait. I got 34, part 4 of 6. Uh, and that's... And the War Zone Annual, number 1. I think that's pretty much all my War Zones. Let me put this stack up real quick so we don't have a landslide. That's what I call when they like to slide down out of nowhere and you can't stop it. This is my Back to School Special Punisher, number 2. 64 pages. It was a good story. Uh, I love this. I love this story. It was cool. He had an arsenal of guns. They were all different, and I thought it was awesome. Right. This is the Punisher Volume Two from the Marvel Universe. Volume One, I don't think ran that much. Um, I, I remember a lot of people didn't like the Punisher to begin with at all, just because he worked with the Jackal, and the Jackal was a bad guy. But okay, so I picked this up at the flea market. The uh, good. No, I picked this up at this one. And number four at Megacon with my dad. Alright, the Punisher, number 22, Ninja Training Camp. Not what I expected, but it continued. And I don't have the rest. I want the rest, though. 32, I had this one since I was a little squirt. Alright, so let me grab the rest real quick, folks. Got another big pile. Uh, I'm trying to make more videos for the YouTube, you guys. Just so you can see the extent of my collection before I go into the Air Force. Kind of leave a trademark on YouTube of comic videos and collections. Uh, I've got this box. I did collections out of the comics I did. Got some more of that one and one more up there right by the Frisbee. So I've got this stack of Punisher and this stack of Punisher left, folks. Let's get it done. Okay, so this is the Punisher 37 with Jigsaw Puzzle Part 3 of 6. What's funny is if you're a Doctor Who fan, J uh, Microchip built this machine robot to protect the warehouse when he's not around. And Punisher goes in and he starts calling it a Dalek. It looks like a Dalek. It's a funny joke to Doctor Who fans. 45, this was a good story and a good cover. Zoom in. This is basically about a woman who's killing taxi drivers in the midst of finding the one who raped her. It's a sad story. It was a good story. And Punisher, unfortunately, had to kill her because she pulled a 44 on her, on him. And you know what are you going to do? I mean, shit happens. And my cat's uh, right beside me, folks, so hold on. Alright. This is the uh, giant sized 50th issue. Sorry, cat still. All right. 58, part 6 to 7 hideout, the final days. I like this. I like these covers they did for the Punisher, where it looks like a painting. It's just different. My dad used to tell me he had a ton of these when he was a kid. In his teens, I guess. 
right. I like this cover. He's got the uh, scuba mask on, the uh, M4A carbine with the grenade launcher attached to it, and a grenade launcher right there. This is a firefight part one of three. Uh, I like this one just because I'm Florida and the story was uh, taken in Florida, Miami. But I'm Tallahassee, but it's still cool that the Punisher goes everywhere. All right, so that's 89, folks. All right. My annuals, the Punisher, number six. All right, so that's the Punishers. Going on to war journals now, folks. And there's my cat, who is claiming the top of my box. Top, top. What, GG? Come on. Out of the box. Sorry, he likes to get in the box tops and sleep in them, and I don't care for him doing that. All right, folks, two more stacks, and we're done. This is the initiative series of the Punisher War Journal. Right after Cat America died, or supposedly died. Can't trust those scrolls, for Christ's sake. Um, this is when he had the Cat, uh, Cat America tribute. All right, so continuing. That was number nine. Yeah, number nine. Fourteen, with him fighting Craven the Hunter. Uh, after that, it got darker and grittier, and he went back to his normal costume. So this is 17. And Jigsaw started to replicate him. He wore the same costume and framed him. And his son, I think, yeah, his son was doing the dirty work. And his costume's difference was that it was inverted. Skull was black. Shirt was white. So that's 19. 21. All right, so here's some of the older war journals. Number nine, Dream Time with the Black Widow. I hate this cover a little bit because it's just a big spider. 26, Scuba Diving Lessons. 32, another painted cover, it looks like. Really cool. Uh, another cover, painted, 33. Alright. Rack them up. That's right. 43 of the War Journal. Dead Man's Hand, 45. Alright. So, let me grab that stack real quick. And one more stack. Sorry, this video is taking its time, guys. Um, a little bit unorganized today. Kind of woke up a little bit. But if you like Punisher, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay. So, here's my war journal with number 48. I like this cover. I like the kind of gun they drew him with. Not your typical military issued gun. Uh, number 50. Picked this up at a flea market. My dad spawned. I said, hey, you got to read this. I had this when I was your age. You know, I was like, I, I didn't really believe him. I, I think he may have seen it before when I was just a little kid in a comic shop or a toy store. Back when toy stores sold comics. 54, Frank versus the Family. Number 55, Continuing of the Family. Uh, 58, when he teams up with Daredevil and Ghost Rider. Like I said, he does a lot of team-ups. You read the series. Here he is uh, teaming up with Spider-Man. or No, Spider-Man was hunting down because Punisher, once again, killing the bad guy. And Spider-Man can't stand that. Got this from my uncle in his collection. Uh, Punisher and the Night Stalkers, number six. This is a Night Stalker and Punisher team-up issue. Punisher versus the Batman. Well, not versus, but takes him on. It's got Romeo Jr. in it, so it's obviously good. Uh, my Punisher 299, number one. I like this. I read this a lot when I was a kid. I just loved it. Uh, 2999, 13. My uncle's collection. Just because it had Spider Man 29. He would pick up anything if it had Spider Man on the front cover. And the Punisher Origin of Microchip 1 of 2. Uh, you might have seen this in one of my other videos, folks. But that is my collection. I thank you for watching my videos. And this is you, Comic Fiction. Sign off, YouTube, guys.